eight beauties, I believe, was it? Eight. Eight, nine? Yep. eight keeper fish. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Buck Perry. Catch you today. Walleye. intensified and um, you had to be there you had to be there earlier and this is the payoff and good watercolor was really the key so again thank you Jim set the table catch you today nice bite the table specialty walleye taking on the weed line again eight nine foot day to jam today? Uh, before you'd get on the water you'd think it was going to be a tough day. Uh, cold front conditions, clear skies, getting clearer as the day went on. But we had a great day. Um, straggler activity. The key was uh, Jim picking good watercolor. That was number one. And depth control and locating the straggler zone, which was on the weed line. Earlier in the day, nicer fish were taken as the day went on. The size decreased a little bit, but we got some nice fish and it was action throughout the day. So we've had enough, they're probably still going. Now and then you get a fish, but good watercolor is really the key here. And Buck placed that as priority number one as far as fishing waters go. So again, thank you, Jim. Thank you, Buck. And thank you, Walt, excellent partner. Great partner. Well, I'm out here once again on Lake Kaganza uh, near Madison, Wisconsin. And I was on my way headed home when I passed the highway adjacent to the lake. And I thought, you know what, there's no need to rush back. So I'm going to get a few hours in fishing. And my purpose of coming out here again is to see are they going three days in a row? Are they going three days in a row? I don't know. But once again, I've said this before, the only way you're gonna find out for sure is to get out on the water and to check it out. So let's see what kind of activity is going on. It's been pretty strong for the walleye and the northern pike the last couple of days. Let's see if the action continues. Now the speed has been basically on the slow side, uh, three miles an hour and under. Yesterday we were up around four, but uh, guys at the outing who made some good catches, they were about three and maybe a little bit under. So uh, I don't know, let's just check it out. Water temperature is 75 degrees. We got bluebird skies. And uh, we got good watercolor though. I'm checking out the weed line. And occasionally I just want to tick those weeds. The weed line in this particular area uh, ends at about eight and a half to nine feet. It's deeper in other parts of the lake, but uh, in this area right here, eight and a half to nine feet.
Jesus. Almost dead slow. Too small. I mean, really a small, really a small northern. Will that work? Shorten it up and slow down? Yep. I'll tell you what, the last fish I've gotten, I got the motor in gear, stop it. In gear, stop it. They're hitting it almost dead oh, stop like when I went out of your boat. Wow. I mean, they want it slow. What'd you get over there? Northern and a walleye. Okay. Any size on the walleye? Nah. Yeah. Uh, got an 18 inch way over by the mound. Okay. And yeah. Another walleye. Too. They just had two. Tammy and Ed just had two also. You know what? They're, I mean, they're going. I'm catching them almost dead slow. Okay. You know, with the motor stopped. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting northerns, small northerns. We just got, a, we got two ball, I mean, they're all 14 inches, every damn one. They're going to go, you'll get a bigger one, so. you'll get a bigger one. Well, no, your wife should, not you, but. Okay, well, that's fine, too. Yeah. I'll get to eat half of it. <laughs> oh, you're pretty confident, huh? Yeah. Tom, how deep was that bigger walleye? Around 12 feet. 12 feet, okay. Okay, oh. yep. What's his name was say, saying the same thing, yeah. faster speed. As soon as you stop and go, you know, they're right there. Stop and go. Stop and go. Stop and go. Stop and go. The small northern. That's a walleye. Okay. 
It's a way to end a trip.